А теперь давайте послушаем. Listen and follow the text. Слушайте и следите по тексту. Excitement, adventure and mystery all make up the world of fiction. And here are some of the greatest names in fiction. Who was the queen of crime? Agatha Christie, of course, the world's best-known mystery writer. Agatha Christie was born in Devon, England, in 1890, and she created many fictional detectives. The most famous are Hercule Poirot and Miss Marple. Hercule Poirot is a Belgian detective, famous for his neat appearance, his obsession with order, and his use of psychology in his investigations of crimes. Miss Marple, on the other hand, is nothing like a typical detective. At first glance, she is an ordinary old lady who loves knitting and gossip, but she can solve the hardest of mysteries and puts many criminals behind bars. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was born in Edinburgh, Scotland in 1859. He studied medicine at the University of Edinburgh. It was one of his professors that inspired him to create the most brilliant detective ever, Sherlock Holmes. Holmes's extraordinary powers of observation help him solve the most mysterious cases with the help of his faithful companion, Dr. Watson. Holmes is very logical and extremely intelligent. He wears a cape and hat, smokes a pipe and uses a magnifying glass. Jules Verne lived in Nantes on the west coast of France. He loved the sea and when he was only 12, he tried to run away on a ship to the West Indies. Unfortunately for him, the sailors caught him and sent him home. Jules had a great imagination and wrote several adventure stories and created mysterious characters like Captain Nemo. In 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Captain Nemo travels under the sea in his submarine, the Nautilus. On his journeys, he meets strange sea creatures and finds an underwater city. And now we should read and translate the text. А теперь мы должны прочитать и перевести текст. Excitement, adventure and mystery all make up the world of fiction. Волнение, приключения и тайна – все это составляет мир художественной литературы. And here are some of the greatest names in fiction. И здесь некоторые из величайших имен в художественной литературе. Who was the queen of crime? Кто был королевой преступлений? Agatha Christie, of course, the world's best-known mystery writer. Конечно, Агата Кристи – самая известная в мире писательница детективов. Agatha Christie was born in Devon, England, in 1890, and she created many fictional detectives. Агата Кристи родилась в Девоне, в Англии, в 1890 году, и она создала много вымышленных детективов. The most famous are Hercule Poirot and Miss Marple. Самые известные Hercule Poirot и Miss Marple. Hercule Poirot is a Belgian detective, famous for his neat appearance, his obsession with order, and his use of psychology in his investigations of crimes. Эркюль Пуаро – это бельгийский детектив, известный своей аккуратной внешностью, одержимостью порядком и использованием психологии в расследовании преступлений. Мисс Марбл, on the other hand, is nothing like a typical detective. Мисс Марбл, наоборот, не имеет ничего общего с типичным детективом. At first glance, she is an ordinary old lady who loves knitting and gossip. But she can solve the hardest mysteries and puts many criminals behind bars. На первый взгляд она обычная пожилая дама, которая любит вязать и сплетничать, но она может разгадывать самые сложные загадки и отправляет много преступников за решетки. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was born in Edinburgh, Scotland, in 1859. Сэр Артур Конан Дойл родился в Эдинбурге, в Шотландии, в 1859 году. He studied medicine at the University of Edinburgh. Он изучал медицину в университете Эдинбурга. 
it was one of his professors that inspired him to create the most brilliant detective ever, Sherlock Holmes. Один из его профессоров вдохновил его на создание самого выдающегося детектива Шерлока Холмса. Holmes's extraordinary powers of observation help him solve the most mysterious cases with the help of his faithful companion, Dr. Watson. Выдающиеся способности Холмса к наблюдению помогают ему разгадывать самые загадочные случаи с помощью верного товарища доктора Ватсона. Холмс is very logical and extremely intelligent. Холмс очень логичен и чрезвычайно умен. He wears a cape and hat, smokes a pipe and uses a magnifying glass. Он носит плащ и шляпу, курит трубку и использует увеличительное стекло. Jules Verne lived in Nantes on the west coast of France. Jules Verne жил в Нанте на западном побережье Франции. He loved the sea, and when he was only twelve, he tried to run away on a ship to the West Indies. Он любил море, и когда ему было всего двенадцать лет, он попытался убежать на корабле в Вест Индию. Unfortunately for him, the sailors caught him and sent him home. К несчастью для него, моряки поймали его и отправили домой. Jules had a great imagination and wrote several adventure stories and created mysterious characters like Captain Nemo. Jules обладал богатым воображением и написал несколько приключенческих историй и создал загадочных персонажей, таких как капитан Немо. In 20,000 leagues under the sea, Captain Nemo travels under the sea in his submarine, the Nautilus. В произведении «20 тысяч лье под водой» капитан Немо путешествует под водой в подводной лодке на Утилусе. On his journeys, he meets strange sea creatures and finds an underwater city. В своих путешествиях он встречает странных морских существ и находит подводный город. And now let's answer our questions. А теперь давайте ответим на наши вопросы. Who created Captain Nemo? Кто создал капитана Немо? Jules Verne. Where is Hercule Poirot from? Откуда Иркюль Пуаро? He's from Belgium.